is upside down. There he's being kind of a dick. He's out there with his regular rod now. He's caught five. Let us show off. How is it, Eric? How is it? Find that lure? What are you guys doing? Checking out shrinkage or what? <laughs> oh, it's so cold. He's got his shorts on. <laughs> All right, Barry, hold that kit right there in front of you, an appropriate spot. And that is bubbling. Original ankle with the scar on the foot. <laughs> Watch out, Zach. This is a bubble out. Oops. It's a beauty. Less swollen than earlier today. Be more swollen by the time I wake up in the morning. It's a good one. Did you get that in there? What? Oh, yeah. All great. Brandon has the penthouse view on our lake. All right, we just came from over there, down by that tree. Worked our way up this rock field. Trying to head to the top here. Definitely worth a panoramic look here. We just came up from way down below here. Down below that lump there that you see in the immediate background, like way down below there. See a lot of little lakes in the valley. I just made my cell phone call from here and got the receptionist at probate court. She pumped me back through to Sue's phone to no avail. I'd already been there once and no answer, so she must be at probate or out of juvenile court today. Else is heading on. More snow covered peaks back that way and that way. And now I'm almost 290 degrees around and now 360. We've arrived at Leo Lake, and from the obvious choice of locations, we have been very close to here before. The trail's got to be right across those. Or we're not uh, staying here. Yeah. Well, we're looking for a campground. See that again? Joel, Fudge. Once I finish my Mexican rice, because this is really good. Well, Barry, what are you Dang having tonight? Cut. I just had some fudge, and I'm still eating my kung pao chicken. Brandon. He wishes he had some Mexican rice. What'd you have for dinner? Ramen. Uh. Ravioli meat sauce with uh, mashed potatoes donated by Barry and a piece of bread to wipe them up. Larry, what did you have? Eric. Soup course followed by chicken gravy and mashed potatoes. <clears throat> Can I? The same. Also, Can you already had the oyster hors d'oeuvres, of course. Yes, yeah, so I had the cheese hors d'oeuvre along with the modicum of oysters. Well, you wanted hors d'oeuvres too? Can I add uh, that I'm currently yeah, eating kung pao chicken and mosquitoes? And I had some of your kung pao chicken when you foist it off on me and some of your mashed potatoes, so now I'm not sure I can eat another thing. Oh, I've got beef stew ready to go. Guaranteed. <laughs>
The sun has gone though. down on us at 8 o'clock because we're behind this mountain back here. Doing a slow pan. Ball knob. Now you've seen some of the high points. Maybe. That's bald knob right there. The trail is way down in this valley. We're going to try and hook up with it tomorrow. right there. It's maybe a little muddy. Side of our mound is Leo Lake, also called Nymph Lake on some maps. Our water source and just another scenic aspect of our location. And the mountain behind it, of course, is the reason we don't have any sun right now. Hopefully it will cool down and dry the mosquitoes away. Tomorrow, we have to find a way up there. Hopefully without going down the other side. Hopefully we can come around that corner and There's a game trail down there that may give us a chance. We had a nice little cross-country hike today from Aquarius Lake. Some of the boys thought it was one of our better days of hiking. They love to do that cross-country. It's day six and we haven't seen another person the whole time. Since we set foot on the trail. How weird is that, huh? Plan to leave in 38 minutes. We'll see if we can do better than yesterday. Leo Lake in the morning. I'll let down at that end. We came in from down at that end. If you're lucky, you might see the one fish that's in this lake rise here in the next few minutes. It's a big lake. There's plenty of mosquitoes in this lake, that's for sure. So if there's a lot of fish, you expect them to be rising all over the place. This is a pretty small lake, but maps say it has cutthroat in it, so that's what I think we're seeing occasionally. Don't see them in the water though, here by shore where we're at. response to any baits. We thought there were no fish in here until we saw a few of them rising this morning, but just a very few. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is.
The guys are looking for a way to cross the stream without their water shoes. <laughs> Apparently Brandon saw a fish. Eric's decided to put his water shoes on, I think. Okay, gentle entry. Don't be jumping in. I told him not to do that. <laughs> All right, start flapping. Kind of like an iceberg, isn't it? Yeah, except for now his head's an iceberg. <laughs> Look at the hat up above, it's like a halo. Yeah, stupid ass. <laughs> All right, we got you. <laughs> Can you get up? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Alright, Jim's at Oozle Lake, I do believe. 10 day 6? That's 4 days left. This is, this is the sign today. <laughs> I want to be up at Fossil for 2 days. 4 nights left. This marmot's been chasing me. It's not very far away. 30 feet, maybe. <whistles> We're on the trail heading up towards Skull Lake, just coming out of Ball Knob Lake. An impressive array of flowers through here. See up on the hillside in the foreground. Canning now to the left. See up on the rocks up there, yellow the flowers. We're here in mid July and we're walking around quite a bit of snow patches here now. It's had three or four days now of beautiful weather. This is Ron completing his boarding of the creek. Two more guys to go. Would that be Barry and Jerry? This is the creek above Skull Lake. I think last time we were here this was totally bone dry. Of course, once again the flowers. Just crazy. A little bit of snow right above us. A lot more patches now, a little up higher. Some of the kids sleep across the rocks up above Joel went. Across right there. Another one back. Creek above us where the other guys pop across looks like 